welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. I'm getting a little bit of a late start to this vlog. It is currently 11.32. This morning, I just feel like it has taken me a year to get out the door. I guess between editing my video, taking a shower, having to dry my hair, putting on makeup, it just feels like it's been like six hours that I've been trying to leave the house. I have a ton of different errands I need to run. So we're going to get those started, get those taken care of. And then later on this evening, we're going to go cook some fish with my mom. And it should be a great day. So without further ado, let's get Vlogmas Day 10 started. The first stop of the morning is at a place called Baytown Nutrition. They're a new little place here in Baytown and they've been telling me to stop by, say hello. So I'm gonna go pick myself up a protein shake before I go run the rest of my errands since I haven't had anything to eat today. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. Well, in Baytown Nutrition, I got me a sugar cookie shake, and it is really, really good. I sat in there for like 30 minutes chatting with the owners. They are really nice people working on building their own business, so of course I needed to come over here and support them. I love to support small and local businesses, especially here in downtown Baytown or the old town Baytown. People that are trying to revitalize this area, I think it's such a neat thing that they are doing. So, I got me my shake, and now it is time to actually start running my errands. So, let's get to it. The next stop is the post office that you can barely see through my very dirty window. But it's been a hot minute since I've checked my P.O. box, so we're going to run inside and check it out. The next stop is Target, and this parking lot is freaking packed. Am I gonna regret this decision? Probably. I've got a very exciting Target haul for y'all. I got a shower caddy. I got some conditioner, some mascara, and some deodorant. What an exciting haul, y'all. Now it's time to go to Best Buy. I have to say I'm kind of impressed with Best Buy. I ordered this SD card and I came and did curbside pickup. She had my order to my car in 58 seconds after saying I was here. So that was kind of cool. Off to the next place. The final stop of the errand running is here at my CPA's office. I need to sign some type of form. So I'm about to run in there and then I'm going to head home, make myself some lunch and then it'll be time to head over to my mom's. She wants to go on a walk and we want to cook the redfish. So busy, busy day. Not really sure why I waited like eight months to pick up one of these shower caddies, but man, this frees up so much space in our shower. It is currently 1.50 p.m. and I just got back from running all of my errands this morning and it's time for me to make my first meal of the day. So for my first meal today, I am going to be making some avocado and egg toast because it is my favorite and I have not had it in a couple of weeks. So I am going to scramble up a couple of eggs, toast up a couple of slices of this Dave's Killer thin sliced bread, slice up an avocado, and top it with everything but the bagel seasoning, of course. So I am going to quickly throw this together and it should be delicious. I'm going to throw a little butter in my skillet, let that melt. I scrambled up a couple of eggs. I'm just gonna cook these bad boys up. My toast is ready. 
Now it is time to assemble our avocado toast. I am just going to put some of this very ripe avocado. I think if I had waited until tomorrow to use this avocado, it would be completely bad. But just going to add about half of an avocado to my toast. And I just like to use a fork to spread out my avocado because it just works pretty well. And I like the little lines I can put in the toast. It just looks like something you'd get at a restaurant. Got to top the toast with some of my scrambled egg. And then I like to go a little bit heavy handed on this everything but the bagel seasoning because it just brings this from like a 4 to like a 27. It is amazing. Woo! Avocado toast! And there we have it y'all. My delicious avocado and egg toast. Yum! Oh my gosh, y'all. I am so excited for my avocado toast. I haven't made this in forever, and it is truly one of my favorite meals now. So darn good. Cheers! Mm-hmm. This is definitely hitting the spot. Yum. This morning, the only thing I didn't get accomplished, though, was I wanted to get a pedicure. I have not gone to the nail salon in nine months and my feet need some help. But I just kind of ran out of time. My mom wants me to be over at her house in less than an hour so we can go on a walk before we cook dinner. So, going to eat this and then do some stuff around the house and then we're gonna go hang out at my parents' house, what we're doing every day, it seems like. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I am over here at my parents now. Me, my mom, and my brother just got back from a two mile walk. Got a little bit of exercise today, which is great. And now here in a few minutes, we're gonna get started cooking some delicious fish for dinner. I can't wait. What's going on, ladies? Y'all just hanging out over here? Are you waiting for the afternoon treats from the treat lady? Oh, she has a lot to say. <laughs> I think she's saying, where are my worms? Why are you talking to us if you don't have worms? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Chickens love these dried up mealworms. Or at least mine do. They are the favorite treat of all. All right, y'all, so the red fish I brought over here was on the half shell, meaning it still has scales. And so now I am over here removing the fillets so that we can make this red fish for dinner tonight because my mom didn't want the scales, apparently. No. You can do red fish on the half shell. That's not what I was cooking. This is not the easiest to do, but... And I'm not perfect at it, but... Hey, I think... From what I'm seeing, perfect. practice makes perfect, and you need a little bit more practice. So it <laughs> yeah, all it works out good. <laughs> I've been sitting here watching you. I, we're lucky I had a fillet knife tucked away. So, yeah, I'll see you when I finish with this. It's going to take me a little while. Well, I've got three-fourths of the way done. We're going to make a redfish poncha train sauce. And using the fish that Catherine caught and just filleted for me. And um, I'm excited. Yeah, let's cook dinner. Hey, to get the redfish ready, I'm using some Zatarain's blackened Cajun seasoning. And all I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I've taken Catherine's fillets and I'm sprinkling the seasoning on both sides. And I'm going to let these fillets sit here a few minutes while I'm getting all the other ingredients ready to cook. So to get the fish ready, the first thing I do is actually I cook the fish. And I'm melting some butter in my saucepan, my, my heavy duty saucepan, and it's gonna get extra hot. And I'm gonna flash cook those fish. They're gonna cook real quick. And then I'm gonna set them aside while I make the sauce. Okay, the skillet's nice and hot. The butter's getting a little bit brown. So I'm just gonna take these fillets. I'm just gonna put the fish fillets in this butter, let them cook. Get them ready to make the bunch train sauce. Once again, Catherine had bought two packages of asparagus the other night, and I do mine just a tiny bit different than hers, but not really. I um, 
I actually toss it in olive oil before I lay them out on the sheet pan. And I also use my Goya um, general all-purpose seasoning and a little salt and pepper. And I've gotten my asparagus ready to put in the oven. So we'll have asparagus. I got some French bread I'm gonna stick in the oven that's gonna go with this dinner. Flipping the fillets over and um, I cook them good on both sides. Y'all, this smells so good. The butter's a little brown. Just adds that little extra flavor to this fish. So two days ago, Catherine had a recipe for uh, baked shrimp and they turned out delicious, but we had so many. That's why I decided to use it tonight. So I'm taking the leftover shrimp out. So I'm gonna chop these up in a couple of smaller pieces and we're gonna use them in the, in the punch train sauce to put over the fish. Making a nice brown butter roux. So I took the butter um, I deglazed the pan that I used for cooking the fish and I actually kept the runoff. I'm gonna use that as flavor here in a little while. But right now I'm just gonna make a quick uh, light brown roux. And I'm using butter and, and, and uh, flour tonight. It's not an oil-based roux, it's a butter roux. And I have, um, what is this, about a cup and a half of mixed vegetables. There you go, perfect color, look at there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop that roux from cooking by adding my, my Cajun Trinity celery, bell peppers, and onions here. Let them cool it off, but to keep cooking, I cut up some fresh garlic. I'm gonna put that in here. And what's different about this sauce is I actually cut up some mushrooms. I wanna have mushrooms in this sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms and let them cook at the same time the rest of the vegetables are cooking. I'm gonna sprinkle in some chopped parsley because the vegetables are almost done. So I'll go ahead and add some parsley, give it a little green. What am I missing? So I'm gonna add a little sherry. You can use white cooking wine and I think, I don't know, that is about a third of a cup of sherry. So we're gonna let it cook down in there. There's a third of a cup for the, for the sauce and here's some for, for the cook. Mm, Lord. Mm. Oh, that's a nice one, Catherine. Catherine bought that for me today. I may have to pour myself another glass of that to go with dinner. We're gonna let that sherry kind of deglaze the pan a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add the leftovers from when I cooked the fish earlier. I don't waste any flavor. So a couple of weeks ago, I think, or another video, y'all may have seen me. Um, I was boiling some shrimp, I think, and I saved all of my, my shrimp shells and I boiled them up and made a seafood stock and I've had it in the freezer, just waiting on a time to use it. So I just used two, I'm gonna do three cups, I think. Three cups of the um, shrimp stock. I'm just gonna let it cook here, I had that with that roux to make it a little thick, and then I'll um, be ready to add the, the shrimp and the crab meat. I'm gonna add a tablespoon or so of Cajun seasoning. Um, this one happens to be Slap Your Mama, but I could've used Tony Sachets, or you could use whichever one is your favorite. Y'all see how this is starting to get thick? So here close to the end, before I add the seafood to it, I actually cut up a Cup, I don't know, it's probably two tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna incorporate a little extra butter in here for a little extra creaminess. Can y'all see it's getting nice and thick? I've got about two minutes left in the oven with everything else. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna add this can of crab meat to my sauce because I love crab meat and I had a can of crab meat. So I might as well use it up. I'm gonna bring all those shrimp into it that we cooked the other day. So this is gonna cook about two more minutes and we'll pull everything out of the oven in just a minute and we're gonna eat. Y'all, the, the food is for the star of the show here because this is actually one of his favorite dishes at, um, at Papado's Seafood House. So I, I don't know if it's gonna be as good, but I hope it's gonna be because you'll see what I'm doing is I'm gonna take this sauce I um, had the fish warming up in the oven, so I'm just gonna ladle the sauce over the fish, just like this. Y'all see all that good stuff that's in it? We got all kinds of extra sauce to eat over rice or to dip our French bread in. And we're doing it for Santa Claus here, for Jamie. 
And um, it may not be heart friendly, but he has genetic heart disease. So whether he eats a little butter or not, it won't make a difference into what's going on with his heart. Sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> We're scheduled to get him fixed on the 16th, so we can sure use y'all's prayers when he goes in the hospital. But y'all, look at this dinner we are getting ready to have. I've got some lemons cut up over here to squeeze on it. We have our sherry that I poured up that we're going to have. So you're going to burn it. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. We've got some asparagus, have a, a salad, made some rice, and I wish y'all were here to eat dinner with us, but I'm glad you were at least here for the cooking. Hey, Cooper. I just want to know why my sock is in your mouth that I just took off. Hey, Cooper. Hey, Cooper, why is my sock in your mouth? You just carrying it around for good measure? Hey, guys, it is the next morning now. I forgot to film an outro yet again. I was exhausted, and me and the dogs went and passed out on the couch. But I hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 10. We are now nearly a third of the way through December holy moly. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlogmas. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah!